Okay, so I don't know what I was thinking, but I woke up this morning thinking, oh, it's a sunny day. I feel really motivated. Let's get out there and go to the thrift store. And I had no clue that everything was closed on Sunday until 10 a.m. So now I'm just sort of, I don't know what to do. It's 8.45 and nothing's open in this whole town. I mean, nothing that I want to go to. So I don't know. This is really annoying. Uh, I don't want to drive back home because if I do that, I'm not going to drive back. That's a waste of gas. So, um, I'm not really sure what to do. I could go to Walmart. I just don't feel like going to Walmart. I want to go thrifting. The world is not awake yet. Mm. I guess we could do a sightseeing tour. So this is Goodwill and it actually used to be a Pier 1 a while ago, but for the last, I don't know, at least five years, maybe somewhere between five and 10 years, it's been Goodwill. So we have a Goodwill over there. And then this is kind of just all, I don't know what it is, stuff. And then over there behind those buildings is the Savers. And again, Savers isn't open until 10 a.m. either. And then of course there's another Goodwill on the other side of town, but it's not open until 10 a.m. And there's the antique store, like right over there in the mall, or by the mall, or no, it's not, it's near a rest, well, whatever, it's, it's close enough to the mall, and it's not open until 10 a.m. So everyone decided that 10 a.m. was the magical time. I don't know why, but okay. Okay, so I am now at a park. I thought that'd be a great thing to do rather than, I don't know, loaf around a store or something. So this is a nice park. I mean, I, I've never been to it. So we are currently in Fairview Heights, Illinois, and this is called Moody Park, a name that I'm not too fond of, but it is named after a guy named Moody. I would call it Sunshine Park. It's a little bit more uplifting. But this is very nice. Okay, wow, it looks like a theme park over here. Someone really spent lots of money. Oh, the fake grass. I love me some fake grass. Oh, except whenever you gotta replace a patch and it looks like crap. Mm. This is very nice. Look at the little pond. Wow. Okay, well, I'm not getting on that, but it's nice to look at. Wow, it's like a whole forest. No one's here. Ooh, look at my shadow. I'm a tall one. Okay, back to the old vintage mobile. All right, so it's 9.17. I was able to use up a little bit of time by going to the park and driving around, trying to find somewhere that's open. And I cannot believe it. Nobody is open. Like 10 a.m. is the time. So there, I found one place, one store that is open and it's David's Bridal of all places. So if you're looking for a wedding dress, um, Sunday morning, 9 a.m. is the time for you because you can get in and you won't be dealing with a lot of people, I guess, huh? So, um, oh, there's a bird, hi. All right, the first Goodwill was pretty decent. Now I am at the second Goodwill and it is still not even 10.30 yet. So we're gonna go in there and maybe we'll get out and back home by 11. And I'm back. So I managed to get quite a lot of stuff from the two Goodwills that I visited. Yeah, I did have to wait a little bit longer than I would have hoped, but I did find some pretty interesting things. Now, interestingly, they are all ceramic items, which is, I don't know, I didn't plan that, but that's the way I guess I was feeling. And I will go ahead and get on with it. So I was shocked to, found, to find some dog chain animal family things. And actually this one is a bunny, not so much a dog, but I love finding these. And so there is a chain that's connected to like the little neck here and then the little guys are attached to it. So I find these all the time and they are pretty popular. I mean, maybe they're popular in my head more than they really are, but I, I just think they're the coolest things. Now, I will admit that the ones that have this fur on them, I'm not as happy with. I'm, I'm just, I'm not as attracted to, let's say, because usually, the fur will wear down. It'll look like they've got mange. <laughs> so 
for the most part, I try not to buy these, but this is, was a, this was a great price and I, it was $3 for this one. So I'll show you up close what we're dealing with here. It is a large rabbit, I guess, or bunny or a mouse. I don't know. And it's just really cute. It's like this gray, like this grayish blue with the yellow stomach and the hot pink hair fur. And then there are these two little ones here. Now, this one has a small chip in the ear right there. It could possibly be used, like a little watercolor could be used and hide that. Uh, this I plan on washing up a little bit. You know, there's a little bit of dirt on it. I plan on putting this one in the booth. I do have some of these listed on my Etsy store or in my Etsy store, but they are not really selling very quickly. I have sold them. There's no doubt about that. I've sold at least three or four of like these kind of things. I just, for this, I think I'm gonna put it in the booth and see what happens with it. Um, I think it's gonna be worth about $25, $30, but in the booth, I might cap that off around $20. So that's that one. This one I find a little bit more adorable. It's actually a poodle with like this purple, this purple kind of hair, so cute. So there's that one. And it does come with the little dogs also. They're just not connected. So when I found this, th this whole thing was kind of setting over. Let's see if I can recreate it. It's just setting over it like that. And so everything's priced individually. <laughs> this was a dollar, this was a dollar, the big one. And then the pair of little ones were 50 cents. So a dollar 50 for this one. Now I can completely repair it. See this little ring? All I have to do is connect it. So sometimes if you're not lucky, you will find that maybe this had broke off and that's why they're just not attached or, you know, but this is in perfect shape and there's no reason I can't just connect the, these guys back onto the neck here and it'll be great. But there are no chips, cracks, anything like that. By the way, it's made in Japan. This is like a 19, late 1950s item. I would guess 50s, 60s, somewhere in there. But it's just a really cute pair of them. They're both Japan. So awesome. They're just really cool and about the same price. Maybe the dog family would go a little bit higher than the mouse one, but that's just kind of my instinct on that, what I think is going to happen. Okay, this I picked up because I thought the coloring was really pretty and I just liked, I mean, it's just a really pretty uh, picture. So there's a bird right there, as you can see, and the color is really great. I love, like I said, I love the blue and this kind of bisque white. Uh, color this creamy color and it was only 50 cents so for that I had to grab it now there is a little chipperoni right there right there on top there on the on the edge I mean from certain angles you can't see like you can hardly see it right there so I don't think it's gonna be too detrimental detrimental to the selling of it now it does have a K and a Y engraved in the bottom that you cannot see and that's probably because the white balance is really crazy right now but there is a K and a Y just kind of etched into the bisque pottery itself when it was made. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure what this was, if this was like a, like a kit kind of a crafted thing or what, but doesn't matter. It's cute and pretty and all that. So it's going to sell in the booth, I think for about five to $8, somewhere along that line. I also picked up this really pretty blue and white candlestick holder. And there was only one of them, unfortunately. I looked around, there wasn't another one. It's only 50 cents, and I thought the color was really pretty. So we have a little windmill scene right there, Pennsylvania Dutch sort of design going on. And it's just white and blue. So that's always a very popular color scheme. And I thought I'd pick it up for 50 cents. In the booth, I will sell this probably, and somewhere around $5 or so for it. It's just really cute. I also picked up one set of salt and pepper shakers. Um, they're not really old or anything. It's just, I thought they were adorable for the booth. And yeah, these are all booth items, but that is okay because I now have three antique booths, three booths. I get a, I get a little flack sometimes for saying antique booth, but it's sort of a habit because I don't know what else to call it. I could call it a vintage booth, but nobody ever calls them vintage booths. It's an antique mall and I have booths in it and I find that just saying booth is a little undescriptive. So. I don't know. That's the way I do it. Okay, so these are a pair of very cute cupcakes. Pink icing. Again, the coloring is off. It's just a really pretty soft pink with cherries on top and awesome. I paid 50 cents a piece for these. 
actually that's not a very good price. Well, that's okay. So a dollar for the pair, but still with that, I'll be able to sell them in the booth for about $4, four or five dollars. They're just cute. I had to grab them. It's just a nice different kind of thing. I haven't bought anything like that before. And I think that somebody out there is going to want that. Okay. The last thing on the list are the, what am I stuck <laughs> talking about? The last thing that I've got to show you is these really interesting little birds here. And they remind me of the Mexico, Mexican Tanala birds. And they're not really marked in a new fashion to say that that's what they are, but they just look like that. And the coloring again is very pretty blue, hand painted. And they're not salt and pepper shakers, ironically. I've got a pair of them. You know, you could probably make these into salt and pepper shakers if you wanted to. They do have bottoms to them. And you could just put a little piece of cork in there, drill a couple holes, maybe in the back tail feathers, like in here. I don't know, I'm just making up stuff now. It's not that important. So they're in decent shape, but I think for 50 cents a piece, it's a pretty good pickup and I'll put maybe two or $3 a piece on them in the booth. Wow. There is like a speed bump. Well, there's a really bad road out front. You probably heard that. And trucks, big trucks will drive down it going 40 miles an hour and it'll just go like that. Luckily the house is made of brick and it will not collapse easily. So anyways, thanks for watching and don't forget to like, Comment and subscribe. Bye-bye.